Hi and welcome to the session. I am Priyanka and let us proceed on with the question that is given to us. It says, in a survey of 600 students in a school, 150 students were found to be taking tea and 225 taking coffee. 100 were taking both tea and coffee. Find how many students were taking neither tea nor coffee. Before proceeding on with the solution, we should be well versed with one of the properties that say, if you need to find the number of A union B, the answer you'll get by adding the number of elements set A is having to the number of elements set B is having and subtracting the number of elements which are common to both these. The knowledge of this property is the key idea that we are going to use in order to proceed on with our solution. Now here, let set of students taking coffee is C. Then number of students taking coffee is given to us as 225. Let set of students taking T is T then number of students taking T is given to us in the question as 150 right number of students taking both T and coffee that means number of students taking both T and coffee that means C intersection T is given to us as 100 and number of students in the universal set that means in the whole school is given to us as 600. Now we need to find how many students are taking neither tea or coffee. First of all we need to apply the formula that we need to first find how many students are taking both. Then we'll subtract it from the union set and we'll get how many students are not taking neither tea or coffee. So it will be number of students taking coffee plus number of students taking tea minus number of students taking both. So here we have to substitute the values. So 225 plus 150 minus 100, that is the students who are taking both, will get an answer that is 275. So number of students taking neither tea nor coffee is equal to number of students present in the school minus number of students taking both tea and coffee. So our answer will be 600 minus 275 that is equal to 325. So number of students taking neither tea nor coffee are equal to 325 students. Right, so this completes the question that was given to us. I hope you enjoyed the session. Do remember 
the formula by which you can find out the union of two sets and then if you need to find the number of elements which are not present in this union just subtract it from the universal set. So I hope you enjoyed the session. Bye for now.